Hey everyone, Coach Stefan Rudolph coming to you from beautiful Escondido, California. Wonderful crisp spring morning here. About 34 degrees, 35 degrees, waking up to the sunlight in the background, the sunshine in the future, and the positivity of living in the moment of now, being thankful for every minute of every day, but also never forgetting the past. Always living for today and always working toward the future. I heard a great motivational video today on the way to the gym here from Eric Thomas talking about getting fired up on life, for life, with life as I put it, and being able to welcome hardship, welcome challenge, welcome growth, welcome those areas of life that make us stronger and make us believe in ourselves. As I say, living for myself, with myself, by myself, through the challenge I went through, and taking that life to the next level. Eric kind of implemented that to be able to understand that we are who we make ourselves inside. So through positive thought, prayer, motivation, anything and everything that you have to go through and grow through individually, I have a program of meditation, awareness, and prayer. Meditation and manifestation, awareness and attitude, prayer and or positive thinking. If you don't pray, that's fine, but just stay focused on life. The bio in my life, the bio, my, my past seven years, my past 14 years, this seven year shift especially that I went through in the past, since 2014 to this point, has been a growth period. I call it my bio because I say it's my bring it on moment. I had to stop making excuses and stop blaming others and having that one finger pointed out and that three fingers pointed in is what Tony Robbins said. It's by blaming others, I was actually blaming myself and I was blaming myself for the position I put myself in for losing things, for making mistakes, for DUIs, for jail, for homelessness, for bankruptcy, for having brain surgery and then thinking I'm better and start drinking again and started having seizures. I had to take my bio moment and say, bring it on. I had to stop making excuses, excuse the excuses out of your life. The bio in me was bring it on. I started saying that because I had no one left in my life. The people that were in my life, my loved ones, family, the people that still were there, were there, but they had their own lives. I was looking for a way out, I was looking for help, and the help that I had was an excuse of alcohol, it was an excuse of, excuse of escapism. So excuse the excuses out of your life came into me through my bio, through my bring it on moment. B-I-O, that's bring it on. I stopped saying this, this is an excuse, this person was blamed, bring it on, universe, bring it on, world, bring it on, job, bring it on. All the financial hardship, everything. I looked at it as a challenge and started facing, instead of anger, started facing it with understanding, started facing it with the belief that I had to grow, I had to be who, I, in order to grow into the new man that I wanted to be, even at 40 years old and starting over and saying, well, he's a 40 year old man. I wasn't a man on the inside. I wasn't growing up on the inside. I had to face my, my fears, my false evidence appearing real without alcohol. I had to clear my mind, I had to focus on health and wellness. That bio moment was for me to say, Hey, instead of running from my fears, escaping, as people do escape from alcohol, through, through alcohol, they escape through alcohol, through drugs, uh, through anything and everything, through work even, workaholics. I had to face it and not be focused on escapism, but focused on myself. Bring it on, I said. Bring it on for the ability to grow within, the ability to face pain, face hardship, face an understanding that even if I, at five years sober, I lost everything. I was literally homeless for a week five years ago in, in June 1st, June 1st, June 8th, 2017, because my business collapsed, everything collapsed, had my car repossessed, had everything, was literally taking the train to stay at a family member's house, all while trying to start my business. But guess what? Bring it on. I had to say that, I had to pray more, focus more, eat healthy, no matter, even if the worst times, I was actually trying to get the healthiest foods. When I did have some money, I got back in there, I started succeeding by understanding that this is what I have to go through in order to grow through in life. So I want you to understand this most is you have these bio moments, especially with COVID 2020, everything going on, losing things, losing jobs, losing family. The, the moment to see the sunshine right here is the moment you come to grips and understand that living with heart is the best thing you can do. Living with heart, connecting the dots, eliminating the mouthful of excuses, Understanding that this has to be this way in order for you to grow. This has to be your bio moment. This has to be your understanding about how to get through the hardships of life. Get through the understanding. Get through a, a place in life where you can face life head on and be able to face it with courage, with strength, with understanding to say this is my bio moment. 
welcome pain, welcome challenge, welcome growth. I bring it on all in areas of life, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and financially in order to grow. This is Coach Stefan Rudolph. Please subscribe, like, and share. Tell me your bio moment on here. Leave a comment, share to other people. What's your bio? What's your bring it on? What's your challenge? What's your pain? What's your growth? Where are you at today as the sun shine bright? May the sun shine bright on your everyday. Peace.